Welcome back everybody to some more Planet Zoo franchise mode building. So what I am doing for this project is basically I am building or trying to build the most realistic zoo that I can within the constraints of franchise mode, which means I can only get like certain animals because you have to have the, the points to get the animals uh, and people tend to really overpriced their animals uh which i will get to in the live part of this I'll, I'll have a small rant about that um and then i also have to contend with um only having the things to work with that i've unlocked so like the research items and stuff you have to research all the different themes to unlock all the themes and uh you only have so much money as well to start with luckily i i got really really lucky with uh right before the last build and managed to save up somewhere around like forty thousand dollars so i'm doing quite well money wise right now uh the zoo financially is is good it did take a little bit because i did go in debt right at the very beginning thanks to some bugs in the game but that's beside the point i talked about that in the last episode let's talk a little bit more about what i'm doing today so what i'm gonna do or i guess i should say one of the things i try to do is every time i try to build something i will typically try to outdo myself like i i'm always trying to figure out the the best possible way to do something and like how can i make this better than what i did last time like how can i outdo myself so i think with this one um it's a huge project that i'm starting in the park and i think it's going to be fairly fantastic when it's done and it will possibly be one of the best things i've ever done in planet zoo and that's that's a lot to say because i really really love my entrance to this zoo the the greenhouse was fine it came out fine i really like the fact that i figured out a way to uh to keep my animals in a walkthrough exhibit without having to use the guest gates um because those things are ugly and disgusting and i didn't want to use those so i'm really really happy that I, was, I figured out a way that i could do that in the last video um but for this one um i i well i guess i should say my my favorite thing i've done is probably the entrance to this suit because i built it from scratch using like tiny pieces of like basically what i'm doing right now on the screen I'm, I'm using beams and planks and stuff like that to build it and this this building that i'm building is going to top that this is also probably one of the, well, the largest projects that i've ever taken on in the game at or really probably even in planet coaster um this building is huge but it needs to be um it is the centerpiece of the park and it's technically going to be like a huge exhibit. Um, it's going to feature multiple habitats inside of it as well as multiple exhibits. Uh, it's going to be my, my reptile center, my reptile, amphibian, and insect house. I Maybe insects? I don't know if I'm gonna put the insects in there just yet. I might, I haven't decided on that yet. Uh, originally that was my, my first plan. But as this project kind of developed, I'm kind of thinking now I may do a different insect house. I don't know just yet, but I'm thinking this is probably just going to maybe be more of a amphibian and reptile center. Um, so it's going to house like multiple animals, at least four, not counting the exhibits. And I really wanted to kind of like do something different. So I don't really have anything that i'm working from on this one as far as reference uh this is all kind of out of my head if a building like this does exist somewhere i haven't seen it and i did do a lot of research on like reptile houses and, and like zoo concept art and stuff like that and i've never seen anything like this but i don't know i just i got the idea for it and i kind of wanted to roll with it and see if i could build it so i tested it out in my test zoo that i have uh, my test zoo is very identical to this zoo um it's just kind of where i test things out to see if they're going to work before i build it in franchise mode because you know obviously i have to contend with money so i don't want to waste that money if it's not going to work and i kind of have need an idea of where to work from so i guess you could say i kind of built these things a little bit before i actually build them here in the live stream so they they are getting built twice in most cases uh although 
the first build is just uh, again it's more of a test build so it's just a, is this possible can this be done and then the second time i build it which is what you see on here is where i'm kind of like okay this needs to work like this this needs to work like this it's where it's more detailed and that's where i'm coming in here and, and building with these planks and stuff like that instead of just using like basic pieces and etc etc et so the shaping of this was really really hard to get it's i basically had to do all of this by hand and there wasn't any way that i could figure out on how to measure it right um, and yes i do know that the bottom of these don't line up exactly and there are some cracks and stuff in the the roof system uh, you can see it if you're underneath the building or looking up at the top of the roof or i guess at looking up at the bottom of the roof i guess is what you would be doing so you can see there are some like small cracks and things don't line up exactly but it's i'm willing to go with it because it still looks really good so I did try to fix a little bit of that here was what you're seeing me do right now and I was just like yeah you know it, this is just not working so I, I just gave up on that and I was like okay that's fine whatever let's move on to the next part um, also I got really lucky here by being able to get both sides almost exact um, I'm sure they're not perfectly exact like identical and that's okay because you can't really tell so as long as you can't tell i'm fine with that <laughs> uh, so yeah i'm just trying to make everything kind of match up and, and look identical to each other here and i think i did a pretty good job of it um the closest thing i guess you could say that the front of this building looks like is maybe a football stadium somewhere i, I don't know i feel like i've seen this on the front of a, a football stadium or something or some kind of stadium i think uh but really, I didn't have any reference photos to work with at all. This is just completely out of my head on this building. So um, I'm kind of building as I go. I Right now, the only thing I had an idea of what I wanted to do was the main front of the building. And then as I was building this, I was also thinking in my head, like, how are we going to do the inside of it? How are we going to do the interior? And I'll be honest with you, I still don't 100% know all of that just yet. Uh, I do... Uh, by the time I'm at this point of building it though, I do have an idea of where I'm going as far as when you walk in and stuff. Um, I, I've got a pretty good idea of, of how I want the very beginning of the building, like the front and the plaza and just like the entrance area, I guess, to the building. So as far as like what the first exhibit is going to be and how all of that's going to be handled but uh the rest of it like i'm building these kind of wings onto the side of the building um and i don't really know how i'm going to integrate those but i feel like it needed it instead of just being a perfectly round building i i really feel like it, it needed more than that so i i don't know i just think these wings are kind of cool looking and i i think they kind of work um, I'm calling them wings because, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, the left wing of a building or the right wing of a building, not actually wings like, you know, they're just there to make the building fly or something. It's, that'd be stupid. Uh, but I hope you guys understand what I'm kind of saying about when I say like the wings of the building, like, oh, this is the south wing or the east wing, kind of that. So I decided this would be the best way to go and then also i really like the idea of using the glass and stuff like this and kind of putting this together now one of the things i am doing right now you'll see me using these concrete pieces to build most of this um i actually changed this out you guys don't see me do it because i do it off off camera but um i changed this all out for using plaster pieces uh, i found some some of the plaster pieces are actually non-gridded and there you are you can make the change in the color on them and i feel like this need to be gray not peach <laughs> i don't know why the concrete is peach in this game it makes no sense to me but yeah so i change all of the concrete pieces the columns that i put down i change all of that out to uh to plaster uh and then change it to more of a grayish color to look a little more like it's concrete or metal or something it, it looks a little more like um 
it, it looks more like concrete than metal, I suppose. It, like, if metal would be more if you're using uh, the abstract art pieces, those look more, they have more of a shine to them than what the plaster does. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So, another one of the things that I had a huge problem with is when I was doing the, uh, the east and west wing. Yeah, we'll call it east and west wings on this was I started messing around with how I'm going to do the glass turning around on that. And uh, that kind of became a problem because it was just like, oh, wait, this is not matching up. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. <laughs> uh, if it was straight, it would kind of work better. But where they're angled, they're not matching up for the thing. So I've got some gaps I'm trying to figure out and it, it's looking kind of weird. But I think I managed to make it work, and by the time I'm done with it, you're not going to see much of that anyway, so it's fine. Uh, now, what I'm doing now is covering up some of the glass and stuff here and just fixing the roof a little bit better, so it is going to get its entire roof system on there. And right here, this is where I'm kind of talking about where the angles on this aren't matching up, so you can kind of see there, see that gap? Right there, I'm like, oh god, uh, that, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> um, I think I did a pretty good job of, of managing it, but I'm not 100% sure if there's a better way to do this or not. And yeah, I mean, there probably is, and I'm just not seeing it. But this is going to work for me. I feel like I think that'll do. So there's still a small gap in it, but it's fine. It, it really is. And I'm gonna basically, t this this isn't gonna go all the way around the building anyway. It's just gonna be like in just a section of it. So um, I also had some trouble with the roof right there too. So I, I ended up having to grab like multiple pieces of the roof and turning them because if I took only one, it was changing the angle on it. Uh, you know, cause there's still problems with that 3D gizmo even in this game. Um, but yeah. All right, so that's pretty much Kind of what we're doing with the building and stuff so the next thing we're going to get to here in just a minute is uh, after i do the gridding here on the windows is we're going to start working on the first habitat of this now this i'm not going to finish this building in this episode this is such a huge project that it is actually going to be a multi-part video so um, we're going to do different exhibits different things in it so this building is probably going to be at least two to three episodes at least just trying to get everything done and all the little details and stuff on it but i feel like for this one i got enough of it done and we got our first we got our first habitat and stuff in there as well so i i think it works out so what you're going to be doing right now is seeing me actually build the interior interior plaza uh, of the building as well as our first habitat which i decided to go with um I think tortoises was probably the best option. And uh, I went with the, um, not the Galapagos or Gallop, yeah, yeah, those turtles. I didn't use those. I used the the other ones, the, uh, yeah, I can't even remember their names, but <laughs> I'm, I'm bad with these animals. I really am. I, I do, I'm starting to enjoy this game a little more now that my build is kind of coming together and stuff a little more so this is the first build that I'm actually having fun in and actually everything is working somewhat similar to what I'm used to I mean yeah there's still things that just aren't flowing right with the game for me but as far as everything else I've done in Planet Zoo this is probably the most fun I've actually had with the game right now and I, I'm kind of enjoying it so I just, I'm really looking forward to them to doing another DLC and hopefully the next DLC has more animals and stuff in it that are actually more useful to me because so far there hasn't been a whole lot of great animals really. Uh, I was happy to see the jaguar in the last one, but I would love to see more like North American animals. I'd love to see like kangaroos as well. Uh, I would love to see kangaroos, penguins, otters. I really feel like otters should be a thing in this game. Um, I don't know how they would do them because they're very small, but then again, that we just got the tiny little monkeys. So I want to see some otters. I think otters would be fantastic. I want to see penguins. I want to see kangaroos. I want to see mountain lions, cougars. Um, I want to see more North American type of animals. So 
we don't really have a, a whole lot. Um, for doing this habitat, one of the things I was having trouble with here was trying to get this curve on our glass front right here a little bit, and it just wasn't really working right with me. And I kept trying to mess around with it, but I finally, I finally get it to where I'm, I'm somewhat happy with it. Uh, I did have to alter the habitat a little bit more after the fact because my turtles didn't have enough space in the habitat for them and I had to change that out so uh, so I one of this is like one of the first times I've been playing around with the habitats where I actually get to put the uh, the water like up against the glass I've never done that before in this game I don't know why I haven't but um, I think I might have done done it maybe with the grizzly bear habitat but I don't think it did no um, and I kind of realized that I'm gonna have to like make the land move up a little bit here to get this to work so but yeah this is working out pretty good I, I think uh, so we'll put some space on there for our turtles to crawl around on we'll put them a little bit of swimming area and the guests can kind of watch them swim and kind of see into the water and stuff right there so uh, the beginning of this build, you'll notice that I've raised the building. Like I put um, some small steps up, and then put a whole another layer. And then when you walk into the building, then you're kind of walking back down as well. So this is like in a lower section here than what the rest of the building is. And I did that so I could actually do the viewing area with the water. Now what I'm doing is, after I built all of that surrounding wall right there, I decided that the concrete wasn't flowing for me, and I wanted to be able to paint this into more of a, a sky blue. So I'm technically turning this exhibit into more of a terrarium, where we're going to like make a fake background and stuff on it, and that's kind of what you're going to be seeing me do here for the next little bit. And I, I really like how this turned out. I, I got a nice sky blue going here on the plaster. Uh, trying to line these up so I can get a little more like room in there <laughs> uh, and I yeah just try to get these just to kind of go where I want them to go uh, I think I go back here a little bit and actually end up like making this even larger as well so um, once I put the uh, the turtles in there they ended up being just not enough space so I had to make this a little larger uh, turns out it was just that my rocks weren't down in the ground far enough for them to crawl on so it was taking away a large chunk of the terrain that, that was usable and then once I fixed that my problem was fixed but all in all it, it all worked out in the end I'm very very happy with it and I can't wait to guys to, to show you the, the live portion of this here at the end of the video so we're gonna put a uh, a door back here in the back and this is something I did in one of my other videos for Planet Zoo when I was building um, Phoenix Zoo uh, which is now gone unfortunately I really like to put the the door to the habitat in there and then kind of work with that so what I was just doing was I was actually checking the turtle to see what kind of uh, habitat they actually like flowers what kind of foliage works with them and it turns out it's only tropical that's the only thing they like um, and I think it was Asian tropical yeah, I believe yeah yeah I think so um, so I didn't have a whole lot of choices for like trees and, and flowers and stuff like that which is fine it it actually ended up working out anyway because we don't have a whole lot of space in this and by the time I put the rocks and stuff in there it's, it, it's fine so I unlike doing a flamingo habitat where I just like want to throw like as many flowers and stuff in there as I can this one actually worked out quite a bit better so uh, what I may end up doing is probably doing some more stuff in the water as well like maybe turning some trees upside down and just using kind of uh, kind of looks like sticks and stuff are in the water and, and logs and stuff maybe for the turtles to swim around on um, I keep calling them turtles, they're tortoises, but I mean, they're turtles, so. <laughs> I should probably maybe put a diner or something in here as well that sells like turtle soup. It just would be funny. Uh, Alright, so we're going to start with the rock work and things now here, and just trying to get this kind of all, kind of, I guess, kind of flowing and and make it look nice and, and kind of natural for a terrarium as best as we can. Um, 
and I'm just kind of using these uh, these tropical rocks are one of the decisions I made to go with here but I also mixed these with that new mossy rock that we got in the South American pack actually no I think it, it was I don't even know if this was in a South American pack I think this is just part of the free update um, that mixed with the tropical looks really really good and it adds a little bit of color into it as well so I'm gonna take the, uh, the tropical rocks now and I'm gonna put them up against the wall and I'm gonna try to make it look like uh, like a mountainscape kind of thing and then I've got some other ideas here as well which you will see me do and we'll talk about that in a second here as well but I'm just trying to make it look like it's bigger than what it actually is so I think it turns out pretty good in the end I really really do uh, and then the next thing I had to do after that which I do a lot of stuff like off screen that you guys don't see and again I can't wait to actually show that off to you so you guys can see it um, we're gonna take him where there's these uh, in the signage parts of the game oh right here this is me trying to make a log fit down in there but I think this log is just way too big for my taste for this particular habitat I'll probably use that for something else um, but these uh, these fake palm trees like they're signs of the palm trees and we're gonna paint them green and put them in the background so it kind of has a little bit of a silhouette basically and then I also found apparently there are thought bubbles in the uh, the signage as well and I thought oh that would make really good clouds so I kind of combine these together a little bit to make these um, these fake clouds on the sky blue background and yeah that that was basically what we wanted to do there so yeah and we are almost at the end I think here of our our flowing here so I'm just gonna let this play out and then we'll talk about We'll go into the live show and I'll show everything off that I've got built so far. Alrighty guys, thank you for suffering through the time lapse video there of the construction of this. Let's head into Riverside Zoo. I, I love this entrance. I can't wait to finish up everything else on it like the gift shop and stuff, but that is for another day. What I have to show off today is our reptile and amphibian center, which needs a name. It needs some kind of official actual name so looking for something around in that department not really sure what I'm gonna do for it I I think it's gonna look really good like once we get the rest of the surroundings and stuff around it I think it's gonna be really really cool it is an extremely large building but then again it is going to have a lot of stuff in it so I'm, I'm actually okay with that so another thing that was really tricky and I did this in a couple of episodes back but trying to get these uh, these steps and stuff to work out just right and getting it level with the next terrain and stuff up that was a little tricky uh, if you guys would maybe like a tutorial on how to do that I can probably put something up just let me know if, if that's something you're interested in uh, if not that's fine and then we're going to move on over into here you can see the greenhouse down there on the left and another thing that you guys saw in the time-lapse video but you didn't actually see me do it was I raised this little section right here up a level as well so we have like the first layer another layer and then up again and I haven't actually finished this off but I am going to put like planters and stuff out here up front as well and make this a really really nice kind of area for people to sit and stuff and and that'll be coming in a future episode like I said this building's huge it's going to be a lot of work and I'm just kind of gonna take it in phases and kind of go as we go I guess is the best way to say that but isn't it beautiful I mean just the design and everything I really think this is probably gonna be some of my best work I've ever done once it's finished uh, I do need to maybe change out the size of the pathing into the building but that's fine we'll get to that so let's step on into the interior here now as you can see I've not done anything on the sides because that's for another day but I did do the planters and things in here we have some really nice kind of orchids and some ferns and a nice like tree and things in here 
which I really think kind of carries everything over. Same thing over here. And another, uh, another thing that a lot of you guys have recommended to me, and of course I knew of it, I just haven't done it yet, was the education boards. Uh, so this is the first time I've actually put the education boards into any of my exhibits. I still need to do the the uh, the other exhibit, uh, the, the peacocks. I still need to fix theirs. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I did do it here, and I actually made these little stands on each side for it as well. So I think that looks really, really good. Now let's take a look at our actual animals here in the exhibit. Here we have the Algebra Calis Gigantia, or the Algebra, the Algebra Tortoise. It sounds like I'm saying Algebra Tortoise. They, okay, so these are tortoises that are really, really good at math because they, they're slow and they think through the problems. <laughs> but as you can see I really like the way the clouds and stuff came out on the background as well as the palm trees and the mountain ranges and stuff against that sky blue background I think that really looks really cool and we have the uh, looks like the vet is coming in and out oh here is, do they actually get in the water or is he just grabbing a drink He's just getting a drink. I don't know if the turtles actually swim or not. I feel like they should. They're amphibians. I just don't know if they actually do or not. So I got a male and a female. So I'm hoping they have offspring. Um, <laughs> getting these two, these aren't the best of the crop by far. Their stats aren't that great. And the reason for that is because all the ones that there were very few on the actual adoption list, like uh, in the animal market, there was very, very few of these guys. And the ones that were there that were any count, people wanted like almost a thousand credits for it. And I'm like, yeah, no, I only have like 1900 credits as it is. I'm not going to spend them on some turtles. So... I can't wait to get into the rest of when I need a lion or something. It's, what's that going to cost me? Like 3,000 credits? I don't even have enough for a lion at this point right now. So I haven't even looked, but I'm just guessing if these if these turtles were almost a 1,000, then I'm guessing that the other ones are too. So the franchise mode, as far as the animal pricing, is ridiculous. And that really needs to be fixed. So I'm hoping these two guys mate and give me some better offspring and then I can kind of maybe get rid of them and, and actually get some good turtles or at least like sell their offspring and get some more credits so I can buy some better ones maybe I don't know we'll see my peacocks are all they're having babies so I'll be having some peacock on the franchise thing for sale here soon so yeah but I really like how this habitat came out I really, really do. I'm taking my time kind of showing you guys because I really want to show it all off. It was a big build. It, this was, like I said, this is the probably one of the, my, my biggest builds I've ever done in this game. And it's not even nowhere done yet. This is only phase one. I have at least two to three episodes to go before this entire building's done. Probably three or four, to be honest. I mean, if I'm really being honest with myself... This is probably going to be like three or four episodes of, of building in this because we've got the east and west wings that we're going to have to build. We've got the other exhibits. I've got to put some uh, or the other habitats. And then, of course, the exhibit animals, you know, the snakes and, and things like that. I'm also going to have a home here because almost all the the uh, anything having to do with reptiles, amphibians, all of that is going to be in this one place. So the lizards the gators all of that is going to be in here and i really can't wait to get into the rest of this so but that'll be for next week I'm just kind of looking around here i'm enjoying the view of my turtles i want to name them i want to name uh well there's only one, there's one female one i'm gonna name one of them april <laughs> and the other one uh donatello yeah, I'm totally going to do that. So. Are you going to wipe the glass? No? No? 
There is a small gap of space in between the actual exhibit and the actual thing there, and that was because I couldn't get the glass any closer to the, the path than what it is. So I put this little border on there, which kind of works. Um, over here on this side, I'm going to put some more mulch and then maybe do some plants and stuff down in there as well to kind of fill in all the gaps and everything in here. And when I'm done with everything in this building, the details on this are going to be enormous. Like, I haven't even done the roof or any of the lighting inside the building yet. So we're going to do, like, a bunch of other stuff in here as well. Lots and lots of stuff. This is just the first part of this. But really the outside of the building is the biggest thing that took the longest. The habitat was really nothing, um, but the building itself, that was a pain. And I, I think it came out quite well. I really love, it kind of, it's circular, but it's also sloped and angled as well. So that was, uh, it was really, really hard to get it, but I was able to get that to work. And then we'll do the planners and step outside. And, and then, of course, I'll figure out what we're going to do with the other sides. So, yeah. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed checking out today's build here in Planet Zoo. I will see you next week with another section of this. And we'll go on and do more of our Reptile Center. If you guys have a great name for what we can call a Reptile Center, then let me know. Um, I will consider it and... You know, I mean, other than just calling it the Reptile Center, I don't really know what else to do. Yeah, so, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. I very much appreciate it. I will see you in the next video, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm out. Later.